Oh, you found a bone. Nice. Nice Scooby snack, Glowy. She's so adorable. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. <laughs> Shit. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw toward the road or toward the parking lot? I bet it's actually a sweet dog. If I throw it towards the road, I am scared that dog is gonna run after and get hit by a car. The last thing I wanna do is fucking cause this poor animal to die. Two reasons. Causing this poor dog to die would be really, really fucked up. That just make me sad. <laughs> and two, this dog is probably the only thing that Frank has that loves him. That's even more fucked up. Like, he saved a bunch of fighting dogs from, from a life of torture. And he decided to keep this one. It must mean so much to him. And getting this poor dog killed is probably the worst thing to do. <laughs> And I don't think I can rewind this decision. Like, after coming to that conclusion that I just explained, I don't think this is an option that I can rewind. Besides, I would put my money on it that this dude, this dog, isn't that bad. Because, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was said sometime this episode that this dog was really cool with Rachel. So it likes peep. He's okay with people. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. God, I'm glad that turned out well. Hey. Hey. Doesn't want anything to do with me right now. Okay, that's fine. Also. Chloe's uh, reaction to um, us showing her the keys, this is one reason why I don't feel bad about not giving her what she wants because she bounces back super well. We make her mad, then we make her happy. That's how Chloe rolls. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Bam, exactly. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Oh. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Daydreaming. Are you having memory flashbacks? Chloe? You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. <laughs> she always gravitates towards Frank the- Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Yeah, it's pretty messy. But I, sh I really shouldn't talk. <laughs> oh, a baseball bat. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Yo, Big Sur is a really nice place, by the way. And this place looks like it's definitely not meant for cruising around, seeing as how there's a freaking a seat facing the driver. Here. Take him days to download porn. Yuck. Oh, that sucks. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Police radio? Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar on your body. Yeah, probably. Hmm. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompidou? <laughs> For real? <laughs> That's a poodle's name. I don't know why, but I'm getting the, the feeling that, uh... Rachel might have given that dog its name. Well, actually, maybe not, because we don't know how long... Oh, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. How long Rachel's been uh, hanging out with Frank and how old that dog is. Oh, there's a gun. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I was about to 
like immediately say yes because it should go well shouldn't be here in this RV but now I'm thinking about it and another reason why I shouldn't stay in this RV is because the gun belongs to fucking David and it would be best if we took it kept it and gave it got it back into David's garage where it should be because if we leave it here in this RV and it just so happens that it's you know eventually David comes here and finds that gun it could mean a lot a lot of trouble somebody could die but I really don't want to give it back to Chloe because although I really want to have faith in her I kind of don't have faith in her that she would return the gun to Frank or return the gun to David but I also believe that she wouldn't be one to shoot somebody that easily I, I get the feeling that stealing David's gun and going for target practice wasn't really practiced in preparation to kill someone it was just probably a, like an exercise in an, an empowerment probably because she seems like a person that would want to feel some kind of empowerment I have a terrible present for you. Ugh. An ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Fucking liar. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. I don't think Frank would use that gun to kill somebody. I actually don't think that might happen besides I know now that it wasn't loaded because I went back and checked the other um, option the option to shoot Frank and the gun wasn't fucking loaded I thought it was loaded because I assumed there was six bullets and there would be more bullets left I thought he would die can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out maybe if uh, it was Rachel hanging out with him too the archetypal filthy guy dishes. Yeah, there's only one... One sink. <laughs> Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just like anybody would. How can somebody live like this? I don't know, man. There's not even a mirror here anymore. He might be able to live like this because he's so brokenhearted over Rachel's disappearance. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You are dumb. What is she even- what? Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. <laughs> of course Frank gets the munchies. Okay. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Okay. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Recycled drug baggies? Don't you give your customers baggies? The fuck? I don't know. Shit. Okay. Oh. Hello. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. You took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Ooh, Frank's stash. Oh, hello. Good girl, don't take that shit. Ooh, Frank's stash. I just wanted a second look, that's all. No more secrets. Photos? Oh, photos, photos are gonna be good. Let's check out everything else first though. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Mick, Katie, Bruce, Johnny, Tonk, Twink, Tonk, and Nacho. Macho? Too bad I Nacho. don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Oh, Tank is at the bottom. A Dreamcatcher prescription pills? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Blowtorch? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Huh. I hope he's not selling meth. 
Is Frank going to deal online now? Okay. Noob's Guide to a Web Business. Okay. The man said that he works for a living, right? But we all know him to, you know, do drugs and deal drugs, but maybe it's just a side business. Sometimes Max annoys me because she frames everything in a certain light. It's kind of... She doesn't, like, she only annoys me because it's really deceptive to the player sometimes. Like, right now, all her, like, thoughts that are, she's saying, um, or thinking, actually, they're kind of framing Frank to be a total drug dealer, a total bad guy, you know, typical. But I personally think there's a lot more to him than meets the eye. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. But it totally makes sense though, like, as the game progresses, she's having these thoughts, they're natural, like, it, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be there, it's just that they're so conflicting sometimes with, with, uh, with what the game kind of subtly hints. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, the guy loves his dog. The guy really loves his dog, okay. I need to find something, maybe the knife, yeah. This is almost as good as a set of keys. How you doing, Chloe? Still, still working. Okay. Let's go here first, because it doesn't look like it's as important as that. Ah. Curses. Nothing here. Broken knife. One time use. Oh shit, the knife is broken. What a shitty knife. My blade will open any portal. Oh, look at that. Why would you hide something, an account book, inside the little vent unless it was important? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Boom, right there. That dog fucking loved Rachel. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, help you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadour. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. Rachel Amber. Oh my fucking god, I knew it! I fucking knew it. Oh, fucking knew it. Of course she loves a guy like him. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. And he's in fucking love with her. The dude let her drive his RV. You know. You love a lady when you let her drive your car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think personally males have a um a natural natural love of any form of transportation. Cars, bicycles, motorcycles, boats, planes. They which I don't know. Trains. We we just like things that move. Fuck, he must have loved her. She must have really loved him, or at least really liked him and disguised it as love. I have no idea, really, actually. I mean, this message could just be a farce. She could just be playing him really hard, and he could just be fucking biting. Like, just totally eating the shit up. But, I don't know, this could be real. Like, let's just drive out of here forever. Maybe that's her just using him to get to LA? But, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe deep inside I want to believe that this romance is real. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. It's hard to tell. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Look how happy he is, holy shit. Ah, oh, this is really, really... It's getting really weird and really hard to, to watch. 
I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Oh, damn. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Estimate auto repair. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way. And the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. <laughs> I care about you. Us. So maybe we need to break our routine? Hugs and kiss. Rachel Amber. Uh, I think it's interesting how she assigns her name as R.A. Instead of just Rachel. Or Rachel Amber. It's really fascinating to me that she would sign her name that way. Okay, so... They were doing drugs, or at least Frank was doing drugs, and he tripped the fuck out for some reason. Maybe that's why he lost her. Maybe that's why he's so hung up on her. <gasps> Maybe that's why he lost Rachel. Doesn't know where Rachel went. And then Rachel disappeared. And maybe that's why he feels like he's such a mess. Because look at this fucking RV. This RV actually looks clean. This is the bedroom, I think, where all those cabinets were. It looks pretty fucking clean. He must have lost his shit when she disappeared. And kept everything dirty. I mean, that's kind of what you do after a like, hard breakup, right? You just let yourself go and... Stop caring about things. Two thousand thirteen, that was this year. This year is two thousand thirteen. Now should I tell Chloe? Oh didn't notice this oh I did notice this green thing here before. The screen bag? Is that luggage? Is he like ready to go at a moment's notice? Wait, my bitch, I don't believe in us no more. Does that mean anybody can do it? So many feels. I hate the way I fuck. Mean you know Xmas. Wait, okay, so I was thinking that maybe if I read all the blue text that would mean something, but I don't, I'm not getting anything. Um, yeah. The white text too feels the way about you know it, yeah it doesn't work out okay 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 well yo let's uh you want to talk about this account book oh 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 hold up hold a fucking phone hold the fucking phone you see this box of cereal this green box of cereal skewer connects i don't know um could be that this cereal box is just a common cereal that people around here enjoy totally could be or it could be those are Rachel's. <laughs> and we or they could be Chloe's. Huh. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Whoa. Why didn't she say anything? Whoa. Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Whoa. Just another person who shits all over me. Oh my god. Why does everybody in my life let me down? Oh my, my dad god. gets killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Yo, Chloe! Ca calm the fuck down. She's so quick to melt down, dude. Oh my god. Oh, don't. God, you fucking. Oh. God fucking damn it, Chloe. God fucking damn it. Oh, did you see his face? That wasn't just confusion. I think there was a little sadness mixed in there. Or maybe I'm just wrong. And that's just the animation. I don't know. Fucking Chloe. Oh my god, man. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Exactly. It's so not fair. Yeah. You gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. That's fucked up. That's so fucked up. You can't, you can't just... Oh my god. You can't just blame other people for their problems. Especially when they're innocent. They've done nothing wrong. Like, 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 do you not realize how, how much you are, like, 
how much you care about Rachel and, and the moment she does something to upset you, when she's not even around, you're having a complete meltdown and you say, fuck her, fuck everything, fuck everybody, she betrayed me, it's unrash, it's like totally, totally unreasonable, irrational, it's unrational. <laughs> Oh man, this girl's driving me insane. Grow the fuck up. Grow up? God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? God damn it. William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. Oh no, my don't. god. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does. No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Oh my god, that's so fucking tragic. Oh my god. Oh my god. It wasn't some crazy race car driving accident. He didn't... F he didn't drive off a cliff by accident or anything. It was something as simple as getting getting killed while driving your automobile to pick up your your wife from her job. Oh my god, that fucking hits home so much harder. Jesus Christ, it's always the simple deaths. It's always the simple deaths that just hurt so bad. Oh, that fucking hurts. I don't even know what to say to her. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my god. Really? Silent treatment? Seriously? Are you serious? Fuck, man. Oh, fucking bullshit. This is such shit. That Chloe definitely is dead. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. What is happening now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy fuck, this is like straight out of the movie The Butterfly Effect. Where Ashton Kutcher has to like look at an image to be able to go traveling back through time. Whoa, man. Well, originally he looked at his diary, but I think when one part he looked at a picture to travel back in time. Oh, this is kind of cool. Alright, let's see here. Gotta make it as clear as day. This is interesting. Oh, fuck! Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, what is going on? Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What 
is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crepes. I'm 18 years old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. Them. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Fuck motherfucking. Do you remember how many? Spatial eggs? time traveling. That's true. <laughs> so how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Oh my gosh, she used to be so much more talkative and warm. I mean, she's still really talkative now, but she's a lot more cynical too. This is such a wholesome moment. I'll go pick up the phone. Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Oh, no. Of course I'll come pick you up. Oh, no. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. No. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. No. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. No. You'll be grateful for that someday. No, no, Shit, no. Shit, where are my keys? Oh, That's no. a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Oh, no, no. I, I'm not, I don't have enough time with you. Oh my fucking god, I don't understand why I feel so in awe that he's actually here right now, uh -huh. right next to you me. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away? I'll let her know that. I... I shouldn't. Oh, if I unplug the phone, William can't take any calls. I... I shouldn't. I can't. I shouldn't. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Oh. <laughs> hey, honey. Just making a fabulous well, breakfast. I didn't with mean to Max. answer the phone. We're I just it just kind of came up and I clicked it. But man. What? Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Oh Did shit! I know what this is. That is the Nintendo Entertainment System controller. I fucking love that Excuse system. Me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen. No, William. He's here in the flesh. Score. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh. oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get them. I know they never took that big vacation. Oh my god. Mocha. Be there shortly. I can't I can't do this, man. I can't do this, Excuse guys. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. I can't she do this. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Ah. Oh, Chloe's a weeb. <laughs> that makes me so happy. She's a fucking weeb. Oh my god. Okay. I know that this is wrong. You can't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. You can't. Shit, where are my keys? Change. That's a dollar for the swear Time. Car. You mean your college? What a drawings? mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. You can't change fate. You can't change time. I bet if I fucking threw the keys in, like. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! Like, he'll find the keys You're eventually. Me. 
Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure he'll find the keys if we... What the? Max, uh, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's, uh, ju let's just wait. I... Uh, oh, this is so painful. Sorry. William, no! Here. William, I'll no! I'll get you back someday. <laughs> Fuck! No, you won't! Oh, you're gonna die! <laughs> And no Chloe and Max oh. wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's uh. never leaving me. That makes all Oh, <laughs> God damn it, fuck. Are you kidding? She's never leaving me. I have to try. I have to. I was put oh here God. to use this power to save William. No. For Chloe. No, you weren't. No, you weren't, Max. You're just doing this because you have, you have your own agenda. Remember, this is... you're here for a reason. Think, damn it. No, you're not. You can't change fate. You can't change time. That's too much. This is too much. Too much for anyone. Be grateful for that someday. It's too much for any one person to handle. Also, pay attention to how. See, you see. Remember how many it's eggs? white. Mom said it depends. The front. Exit That's is true. white. There's so the back eggs? exit Don't is white. Question the chef. Right, like you're the real. Cook oh here? shit! Let's find out. Let's find out. I am. When your mom how was time well. works in this game. I'll let her know that. Obvious, but it will have to do. Yeah, we'll find out if if uh we're jumping different timelines or if time is linear. I know, I know, I really sh- Oh! What? Oh, I didn't expect it. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. They're outside. I got all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joys and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. I bet she'll die anyway. Or... Oh god, not Joyce. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. No, 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 no. Oh, he dies anyway. I was gonna say, does Joyce die? Oh no. I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want any of this to happen. Oh God, David Madsen too. That's actually a really cute photo. Every single little choice we make in this game will gr drastically affect the future. You know? This can't be how I let- This can't be- No, I don't want- I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this at all. I don't want to even see right now. I don't even want to see. No! No! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs>